Let's begin with you, Alex Sherman. Give us the disposition of these talks, who, what, when, where, and why. So, Pim, I think it's important for people to realize that DISH and T-Mobile have had talks for three years, maybe, on and off. Uh, this is a deal that's been long uh, a possibility, and it's one that DISH uh, ha definitely has interest in doing, um, and they've had interest in doing it for several years. Uh, we don't know exactly if the talks have really progressed to the stage that anything is significantly more serious than it ever was. Uh, it does, the timing on this does make some sense. If you go back and look at our reporting, uh, late last year we said DISH would try to buy T-Mobile in the first half of this year. Uh, and that's sort of what we're seeing here potentially. That said, there are so many hurdles that DISH and Deutsche Telekom need to overcome in order for a deal to happen uh, that have not been overcome yet. And those are the price and the structure of a deal. Uh, from my, my sources have long indicated to me that Deutsche Telekom finds dish stock severely overvalued. So any deal that was done from a cash and stock standpoint may need to be more heavy on the cash and less heavy on the stock. Uh, those things will definitely need to be come to agreement between dish and Deutsche Telekom in order for a deal to transpire. I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, back when Deutsche Telekom bought this company, it was called Clearwire. I actually went to uh, the purchase celebration in Seattle. Mark Beach, it seems like Deutsche Telekom has been trying to get rid of it ever since. Um, will they finally pawn it off at this point? Well, remember that uh, Alex is completely right there. There's been quite a change in the valuation. From when we were reporting things last September, we were talking about a price which might am amount to $30 or $40 a share. And now, obviously, with a premium or whatever, it's potentially rather more. So it comes down to a question, uh, as we're saying, of, of leverage and how much people want to do this by, how much Ogun can, can do it, and indeed how much he can do it, how much he's really got left to be able to put on the table. Mark Beach. Who needs the deal more, T-Mobile or Dish? Well, T-Mobile is in quite a strong situation. When you look at some of the other things, uh, uh, apart from the strict valuation, just in terms of like in the last quarter, we saw the number of subscribers go up to the point where it's over, almost overtaking uh, Sprint, some of the others. So, you know, at this point, then it suddenly starts to look more attractive, but uh, at the same time, also rather more expensive. Alex Sherman, Charlie Ergen, John Ledger, are they going to get along? Maybe. They're, uh, they're both very outspoken. Uh, Charlie probably likes John Ledger's spunk to some degree. Uh, John Ledger arguably could be a better match for Charlie than uh, with his current German owners, who are a little bit more close to the vest. Although that relationship seems to, to have sort of come to a, uh, a grudging agreement because T-Mobile has done so well. So at this stage, it's really hard to question John Ledger uh, and his F-bombs.